I'm out of some education news. This year, a Central Georgia school launched their STEM program, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, through a partnership with Albany State University. Our morning reporter, Pepper Baker, joins us live to show us some of the projects students are working on as she reveals our School of the Week. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning and happy Friday, Erin. Yes, Dooley County High students are learning how parachutes work and how to code and create virtual programs. These are things I wish I learned in high school, especially the parachute part, because I just feel like that would come in handy in an emergency situation. Well, their first ever STEM program makes them our school of the week. Oh. <laughs> Dooley County High senior Christian Murphy tests out the egg parachute project he worked on through his science, technology, engineering, and math class known as STEM. We get to do like um, experiments and that kind of cause us to kind of critically think and use our the, um, and use our skills to the best of our ability. Principal Jeremy Sanders and science teacher Tierra White partnered with a colleague at Albany State University to bring STEM to the high school. He's over the, a, the ASU NASA program, so uh, speak with him and let him know that I teach forensic science, physical science, and um, just being able to see if we can, he was like, would you guys be interested in partnering with us? Everything that we have currently on hand is totally covered through Albany State. Um, and so it's, it's no cost at all to us. Matter of fact, our teachers that work with STEM, Albany State even um, gave them a stipend mm -hmm. for participating. Um, so we are one of the schools, one of the few schools they selected to participate in this particular project. Sophomore Brian Chen develops coding skills through a software called Scratch by creating video games and virtual reality programs. It's on the computer. It's like an image and then you put the image in, you put in the coordinates of the image and then you try to make it move from one destination f to another while making it look realistic. They're able to create their own academic enrichment in reference to internet content, and also they're able to use the common core skills um, that are applied in math on a regular day basis. They plan on adding a third program called Lingo, where students will be able to create motion and sensor detectors. Really cool stuff. Reporting live, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. It really is. Thank you, Pepper. Principal Jerry Sanders says they do have about 60 students in the program now, but about 100 more plan to join in the second semester. What an awesome opportunity.